Hey Rockhounds, Dirtman here again with another special report. Today, I'm in Delaware on the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. Owned by the Army Corps of Engineers, this 14 mile long canal is one of the busiest and most high tech in the country. But you wouldn't be able to tell that today. Started in 1804, it took until about the 1970s to complete. Ben Franklin and Teddy Roosevelt both had key roles in this development, but it was the hard work of 2,600 men that originally hand dug this canal. And today, I'm here to dig through the spoils piles that was dredged out of the canal long ago by the Army Corps of Engineers and dumped in this field. This is the Mount Laurel Formation. It's in the Cretaceous, so these fossils lived about 65 to 85 million years ago. Initially getting here, I was a little bit worried about what I might find, being that these spoils piles were dumped here in the 70s. But I've only made it about 200 feet along the road, and I've already filled my pockets with belemites. In fact, I wasn't able to go more than five feet without finding something. And some of these belemites actually glow in the sun, making them stand out against the sand. But there's also gastropods, many types of brachiopods, there's corals, and so much more. So as far as mineralization, you've got a lot of silica here. But what I'm also finding is some granite nice. Some really, really nice, nice. <laughs> I'm here with Central PA Rock and Mineral Club members, Ken and Mary, and we've been collecting for about a couple hours now. What have you guys found? Well, a bunch of uh, different shells, Coral, coral, and then a whole bunch of the uh, belemites. Belemites with the yeah, belemite points. Sphere on that are inside of the of the animal when it's alive. The belemite is the state fossil for, for Delaware. So Corey, what you found so far? Everything. Found a screwdriver. <laughs> Some shells and belemites. Lots of belemites. I'm here with Gavin and Luke and they're finding some really cool stuff here so i figured i'd see what they're finding what you guys finding well so we got some uh bun corals uh we also got some sea urchins sea urchins. very rare find here in delaware so that was pretty wow. cool yeah really do you um, have a an urchin with you yeah yeah you i'll pull one? it out and you've already got it wrapped up oh you know we're taking good care of these fossils <laughs> they gotta be, be preserved you know? so they are so i mean this is just oh wow that's really small tiny how did you even see that? <laughs> I guess it's the young eyes, but that's the bottom side of the sea urchin. And then if you flip it over, wow. there it is. So basically what this is, is like a, uh, the, a pinhead size of an urchin, but that is an urchin and it looks good. That's very cool. You know, it. yeah. <laughs> the best part about this giant sandbox full of fossils is that it's completely free. It's an open park. You can come here anytime and collect. However, it is a federal crime to sell any of the fossils here. My playtime in the big fossil sandbox yielded just about everything on the list, which I quickly identified using fossilguy.com. Like these bivalves and brachiopods easily found throughout the site. Also, these gastropods. And I even found my very own piece of sea urchin. Although I was truly shocked to find these rare, iridescent ammonite pieces. But there were a couple I found that I wasn't sure about, so I reached out to the legend himself for help. Jason Kowinski, the legendary fossil guy. It is an honor to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, and uh, thanks for having me on your report. You're a teacher, a paleontology enthusiast. You and your fossils have been featured in over a dozen publications. You've contributed articles and specimens to museums, and your website has been a standard reference for both amateurs and professionals alike. A resource I personally have been using for many years. So let me just start out by saying, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And um, I'm glad you can use the website. I'm glad everyone, you know, can use the website. So you were out at the Delaware Canal with me while I was filming this report. And I only found that out a couple of days later due to your Facebook post. I found some stuff out there that I wasn't really sure about. So I was wondering if you could help identify that. Yeah, give it a shot. My wife is determined that it is part of a dinosaur vertebra. I was thinking maybe it's the inside of a echinoderm. 
uh, once the shell had gone away. What are your thoughts? I, I, I would love to go all Cope and Marsh Bone Wars on this thing and hope it's, you know, one of the famous dinosaurs, but you tell me. Uh, I think that's an undescribed Triceratops from the site. It doesn't have to it doesn't Heart have attack. You know <laughs> I'm thinking it's an invertebrate. Uh, I don't see any of the plate patterns like the exoskeleton from the echinoderm. Uh, so you might be right if it's just infilled, if like the sediment filled it in and then hardened it and then the actual echinoderm reverted away so you have the inside. So it could be that. Um, it also looks like there's, there's all kinds of weird shaped button corals there. So oh. um, I give it a 50 50 shot of like a weird kind of button coral or yeah, in an infield echinoderm, like an internal cast. Yeah. Wow. Nice, nice finds. Very cool. Yeah, I've never found, not even like an amnite fragment that you have. So uh, yeah, you have me beat there. Wow. I'm honored. <laughs> well, I have to admit, my wife found those while I was <laughs> filming. <laughs> you know, my wife usually finds the good stuff too. I just sit back, just <laughs> lay back, have her find the stuff. So. So you've run this website, fossilguy.com, for over 20 years now. Can you tell me some of the highlights, some of the, the really cool stories that you've experienced since then? Yeah, yeah. so um, I actually started a site to get my own fossils identified because there wasn't really much on the internet in 2000. But uh, one of my main things I enjoy over the past 20 years is finding stuff that's scientifically valuable and then getting that donated to the correct places. So I, I found a few, quite a few things that um, have been published on. One of the more uh, recent ones is uh, it's the northernmost occurrence of a brand new genus and species of Cretaceous angel shark. And this was uh, right from Big Brook, just a little vertebra. And actually, I have a cat. I made a cast of it before I donated it. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it doesn't really look like much. But uh, this is a brand new genus and species. It's called a Credo squantina americana. So that was uh, just amazing. last year. Another cool find just this summer um, as a little baculitis, I, you know, for the teacher marks. Um, I found one with the mouth still attached, uh, which is really, really rare. Wow. Um, so uh, around 2000, I don't know, 2000, 2001, like long time ago, when we we're just scouting all, along the Calvary Cliffs. There with a friend and we're just walking, looking along the cliffs and there's a little tiny bone piece sticking out. And it was size of a dime. Like, like I, I have a picture on the website, it's just like size of a dime. I feel it and it's really, really smooth. So I, hey, Paul, come over here, check this out. And we just scraped a little bit away and it, it was like a you know, little nub on the back of your skull. It was uh, that, so like, oh, we have a skull. So uh, we called the Calvert Marine Museum. Uh, they came out, excavated, and ended up being a squalodon skull. And that's a really rare type of Miocene whale. So they're unusual to find at the cliffs. Um, so I, you know, I got one of the skulls, which is on the Calvert Marine Museum collections. Wow, very important find. Yeah, yeah it, it adds to the knowledge of what the squalodon actually looked like once you get enough pieces of it. Wow, that's amazing. Well, Jason, the legendary fossil guy, Thanks for being on my Dirt Man's report today. Well, thank you for uh, yeah having me on, and hopefully uh, in the future we can actually meet in person and we'll actually talk to each other. I'd love to meet you somewhere in a mine or a dig somewhere. That'd be great. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I'm Dirt Man, and that's my special report, bringing the geology to you from here in Delaware at the CND Canal. Back to you, Jerry. <laughs>